Hello, and welcome back to Purple Griffin. Today, I'm going to be telling you about our ITIL 4 specialist training course, Plan, Implement and Control. Our training course will teach you the key concepts, principles, values and challenges of the five management practices the course covers and how they support planning, implementing and controlling your IT services. The five management practices in no particular order are IT Asset Management, also known as ITAM, which is about understanding, controlling and optimising IT assets. Change Enablement, which is about managing changes effectively, including standard and emergency changes. Deployment Management, which covers how we can orchestrate the deployment of IT services into operational environments. Release Management, to ensure smooth transitions of new or changed services into production. And lastly, Service Configuration Management, which is closely linked to ITAM and is about maintaining accurate information about configuration items. Our five ITIL practices outlined contribute to planning implementation and control. So let's look at what we actually mean by these terms and why they are so important for successful IT service management and how the five practices support planning, implementation and control. Planning emphasises the importance of strategic thinking and meticulous preparation in the implementation of our IT service management practices. In the course, you'll delve into creating comprehensive plans that align with business objectives, ensuring that resources are effectively utilised and risks are mitigated. You'll develop the skills to draft tailored plans that cater to the unique needs of their organisation fostering agility and resilience in the face of evolving challenges. We all know the saying that if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. Implementation means focusing on translating strategic plans into actionable steps for seamless execution. You'll learn how to effectively communicate with stakeholders, allocate resources, and establish governance structures to support the implementation process. Real world scenarios will equip you with the tools and techniques needed to drive successful implementation. And finally, control is about adjusting IT service management activities to ensure alignment with organisational goals and objectives. You'll explore methodologies for measuring performance, identifying deviations from expected outcomes and implementing corrective actions to maintain service quality and compliance. By leveraging key performance indicators and service level agreements, you'll gain insights into optimising resources, enhancing efficiency and driving continuous service improvement initiatives, empowering them to effectively control and govern your IT service delivery processes. This course is delivered virtually over three days. Our expert tutors have years of experience in IT service management and will teach you everything you need to know to understand the course content and pass the exam. You'll also be provided with sample papers and the official core guidance in ebook format for you to work through before your proctored exam. So, if you like what you hear about the course, dates are available on the course schedule, which you can find on our website, and hopefully we will see you on the course. Don't forget, as usual, to like this video if you enjoyed the content and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.